And this truly is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, I'm Cheryl, and you're listening to The Cheryl Boggs Show, and I have Dan Hain on the line all the way from Spokane Valley, Washington. Hey, Dan. Hi, Cheryl. Greetings once again from Spokane Valley. Well, it's always good to have you on the show. How are you doing today? Oh, doing just fine. Um, I'll tell you, weather-wise, we are having what you call a picture-perfect day. It's about 75 degrees, the sun's out, just a slight breeze blowing. And uh, everybody listening, you need to come up here to Spokane Valley today and enjoy this weather. (laughs) Spokane! Well, that is great. Almost like we went from 100 degrees, now it's like 70, but okay. That's always a blessing. We're thankful. And you know what I always say here, the S-O-N, Jesus Christ is always shining, and uh, we are forever, ever grateful. So, Dan, what do you have for us today? Well, last week we talked a little bit about how when God gives you a promise— Lots of times you have to exercise some persistence in order to see the promise come to pass in your life. Definitely, yes. And I wanted to continue on that idea a little bit. So the the, one of the key scriptures that we brought out last week was Hebrews 10.35, and I really like this scripture. It says, (laughs) Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Mm Mm-hmm. And so I looked up what this word confidence means when you get back into the Greek language where this verse came from. And it comes from a Greek root word, which which means to utter or to speak or to say. So cast not away what you're saying is what it's telling you, which has great recompense of reward. So what we need to do is say the same things that God is saying. Say the same things that those promises that he gives us in the Bible tell us. And, uh, right. and hang on to that. Because lots of times the enemy is going to throw up a fight just so that you'll give up on that word that God gave you. Um, it says in John 10 verse 10 that the enemy comes, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, the main thing that the enemy is trying to steal is that word that God's given you. Because if you look in Hebrews, it tells us that the word of God is powerful. In other words, it has miracle working ability. Yes, yes. The word of God is powerful. And lots of times, I know I don't really think or appreciate how much power the word of God really has. It, it is immensely powerful. It is one of the most powerful elements in the universe. Um, right. In fact, God created the universe through the power of his spoken words. That's how powerful the word of God really is. And, um, mm. and so, you know, just think about all the billions of planets and stars and uh, all the millions of galaxies and universes that are out there it just think of the type of power it takes to hold all of that together in hebrews it says that god holds all of creation together by the power of his word so that's how powerful god's word is and that's how powerful one of god's promises toward us really is it carries a lot of weight it each one of god's promises carries a lot of authority in the spirit realm, and in the earth realm where we find ourselves. So anyway, Hebrews 10.35, one more time, cast not away, therefore your confidence. Cast not away what the promise of God is saying, and, and continue saying what that promise is saying, and this will have a great recompense of reward. Yes, because it's so, it's so important that we realize, that you realize that you're not just speaking words. These words are backed up. All heaven, I always like to say all heaven is backing up the word of God. So when you speak by his stripes, I'm healed. You're not just speaking, you know, just words. You're speaking words that have power, words that 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 have the authority over that sickness. Because Jesus, when he went to the cross, 
and he carried our sickness. I mean, yeah. our burdens, I mean, all of that. And that's why it's not that we just want people just to, to just keep saying words. We want them to understand that the word of God, that power is in the, the, the words that you speak. What, Dan, the, the, the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue, right? Absolutely. Yeah, back in Proverbs. Uh, mm-hmm. So um, I think it's chapter 18, but um, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen when I edit the video. <laughs> but it's in the Bible, okay? <laughs> but it's in, it, it, yeah. it's in Proverbs. And, and that, is, that is a huge, huge concept to get under our belt. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Uh, that means mm-hmm. you can speak life to a situation, and you can also speak death death to a situation. So yeah. here's here's the main difference between fear and faith. Fear okay. and faith both function by the same principles. Uh, they function identically with each other. The main difference, uh, and they're both voice activated, they're both word activated. Uh, what happens is faith is believing for an ultimate bad end result. And or fear is, let me get this straight, fear is believing for an ultimate bad end result, but faith is believing ultimately for a good end result. Yes. But, but like I was saying, faith and fear are both voice-activated uh, powers. They're, they're spiritual powers. They are spiritual forces. And we can activate either side of the spectrum by the words that we speak. And that's what that verse in Proverbs that you quoted tells us. We can speak mm-hmm. death to a situation that's come to attack us and, uh, and bring negative things into our life. And we can also, at the same token, at the same time, be speaking life um, through the promises that God has given us in the Bible. Uh, we can speak life into these situations that we face. Definitely. So you definitely want... We, we want you to speak life, even if the situation looks dead. I'm going to talk about starting over a little bit uh, later in the program. But you have to look at uh, something that looks dead, or it may even be dead. But there is hope. When you begin to speak life to that, to that dead situation, to, oh, I, I, I put in applications, I can't find a, a job. Instead of saying, I can't find a job, start speaking, but my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory. And I know that he's going to show me where the, uh, the job is and where to put my application in. See, and you just begin to speak, um, you, you know, you begin to speak faith. You begin to speak what you want to see and not what you're looking at, that negative thing, because that brings fear. Like Dan was, was saying, it brings fear. But faith says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Faith says I'm above only and not beneath. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. Uh, let me direct the listeners to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Um, I, I don't have it called up on my computer right now, but uh, the first 14 verses of Deuteronomy 28 carry huge blessings. And, and the, the preamble tells us that if we'll just listen to the voice of God and obey what he's saying, that all these blessings will come upon us. And it says he's going to bless us in the city. He's going to bless us in our our field. In other words, where we work. All all the work of our hands, everything that we set our hands to is going to prosper. And it goes on and on and on. And I, I just want to encourage people to read the beginning of Deuteronomy chapter 28, the first 14 verses, and it lists blessing after blessing after blessing and and incorporate that into what you're confessing over your situation and i guarantee you you're going to see faith come alive you're going to see god start to move in your situation um i have a i have another math equation for those of you that like to crunch numbers (laughs) okay it's kind of like a scriptural equation here but it goes like this faith plus persistence equals manifestation. Mm, Say it again. Faith plus persistence equals manifestation. And and this is what Hebrews 10.35 that we quoted earlier, where it says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. It's telling you that you may have to go through some persistence and continue to gravitate and to confess what that promise is in the midst of a situation that's telling you something else. 
Um, mm-hmm. I like Galatians 6, verse 9. Also, we quoted this one last week, and it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in, yes. for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Now, I like how the message puts this last part. It says, At the right time we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Glory mm-hmm. to God. So don't yeah. give up. <laughs> give up. You can't, you know, you'll win if you don't quit. All you have right. to be what you were saying about being persistent. And persistence is just, they used to say like a bulldog, you know, you clamp down on it like a bulldog and you don't let go of the promises of God at all. If his word says it and he's spoken it to you, then it is there for you. Do not cast away your confidence because it has a great recompense of reward. That's yeah. great. That's that's a good word, Dan. Yeah, don't quit. The bottom line is whatever you do, do not quit. <laughs> don't quit. The word of God is greater. The promises of God is greater than your situation. God wants to take you up above that situation so that you you can walk on top of it and turn your test into a testimony. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. And there's and there's power in that. But the Bible tells us there's no shadow of turning in the Lord. If he if he spoke it, he's going to bring it to pass. And you can trust that is is basically what I'm what I'm I'm wanting the listeners and, and everyone to understand that there's a difference between man saying something and God saying something. So uh, let's see. Dan, are you back? Hey, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I was just giving them your website. Do you, do you have another scripture or something you want to add? I was just reiterating what you were saying about holding on to the promises of God and, and not to be weary uh, in well-doing because in due season you're going to reap if you faint not. So what is your closing thing that you want to leave with us today? All right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad we got reconnected there. But anyway... Um, Remember that faith plus persistence equals manifestation. And uh, Cheryl, you were talking about how the Word of God carries all of the weight of heaven behind it. And the Mm -hmm. reason that that happens is because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Uh, We have walked into a huge inheritance in Christ Jesus. and, uh, And it's all because of what he did on the cross for us. He died and he rose again from the dead and he ascended to the Father. Okay, this is Dan Hain in the studio in Spokane Valley, Washington. Um, Sorry we're having a little bit of trouble with our connection to Dallas, Texas there. And uh, we're going to work on on, uh, updating our software and stuff like that and see if we can't find the glitch here and make this work a little better for you. So anyway, the thing that I wanted to bring across was that all of the power of heaven goes behind every one of the promises in God's word. And that comes to us because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. He died. He went to hell so that we wouldn't have to go to hell. He rose from the dead in total victory over all of the works of the enemy. And then he ascended to the father. And as a result, he has sent us the Holy spirit and And not only has he sent us the Holy Spirit, he's sent us a huge, powerful inheritance in Christ. Glory to God. And this inheritance can overcome any situation that we face. God is into increase. He wants to increase us. I want to refer you to Psalms 115, verse 14. It's Well, let's start at verse 13. It says, He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. So it doesn't matter... How big you are, it doesn't matter how small you are, God wants to bless you. And then it goes on in verse 14 to tell us that the Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. God wants to increase you so much that it spills from your generation into the next generation. It's a multi-generational blessing. God wants to bless you with such a huge inheritance that your children will be absolutely overtaken by it as well. Glory to God. So anyway, grab a hold of these promises of God and um, don't pay much attention to what you're seeing in the natural. 
put more weight on the word of God than what you're seeing in the natural or what you're seeing or what you're feeling in the natural. Glory to God. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you real quickly my website, dhmissions.com. And it looks like this right now. And uh, it has all kinds of uh, of great insights and informations, uh, information that you can get your hands on. It has articles. Uh, you can see just below the header here, you've got a strip and it tells you, uh, it has all these drop down buttons. Like you can go to, um, articles right here. Um, I have a blog. I haven't updated the blog recently, but it does have several really excellent articles in it. Uh, you can go to the radio button and go to audio archives of a lot of the radio broadcasts. And I wanted to show you real briefly the um, testimony MP3 audios. Uh, these are audios of a lot of the radio broadcasts that I've done with Cheryl. And uh, these are testimonies of miracles that I've seen God do. These will increase your faith to play these and listen to them. Uh, they will really encourage you. Uh, a lot of these will be uh, healing situations. Most of them are healing, healing situations where God has miraculously brought a supernatural healing uh, to a situation that I ran across. And uh, these will incredibly activate your faith and bring an atmosphere of belief around your situation that will, that will really encourage you. So I wanted to bring that across to you. We also have a Facebook page that, that uh, it looks like this right now. The way you find the Facebook page is you go to facebook.com and you in the search box, type my name, Dan Hain, D-A-N-H-A-Y-N-E. And we uh, put a lot of the broadcast videos on the Facebook page. We also have a YouTube channel that looks like this right now. And, uh, uh, go to go to these go to these sources go to these videos go to these audios and grab a hold of the insights that are in these um, go to the uh, uh, articles and uh, use these however you feel that you would like to use them uh, I'm not putting any restrictions on these other than just just be fair to me you know and uh, uh, and give me credit uh, where credit's due if you if you have an opportunity to, to do that. If you can't do that, that's fine. Just go ahead and use these things. I want to see you get the most out of your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, uh, we're going to go back to the studio shot, and this has been Dan Hain. Uh, I apologize once again for the technical glitches. We're going to see if we can't find out what's going on with that and make a correction there. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want you to continue to hang on to the promises of God. Um, and remember this, uh, if, if you, um, if you are finding yourself in a situation, uh, that situation symbolically in the scriptures is referred to as a mountain. If you see a mountain in your life or a situation or a challenge in your life, just remember you can speak to that mountain. Mark chapter 11 tells us you can do that in verses 22 through 24. Speak to that mountain and it's going to move. And you just have to have the faith of a mustard seed. It doesn't have to be a lot of faith because a mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds in the plant kingdom. The, the deal is, it, it's not important how much faith you have. The, the, the question at hand is, what are you doing with the faith that you do have? Um, is your faith active? Are you working the faith that you have? The way you work it is to keep confessing and rehearsing those promises. And you're going to see that mountain move. Take authority over that mountain. Command it to move. Command that disease to leave. Command that challenge to be gone in the name of Jesus. And you're going to see some amazing things happen. Glory to God. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time and watching these videos. And I wanted to remind you one more time that with God, all things are possible. And with God, absolutely nothing can hold you back. God bless you.